When I am sitting on my couch, I also like to do a little work, so that's why I picked up this. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. If you like sitting on your couch like I do, oh, it's so comfortable. Sometimes I just wanna... I'm just kidding, I'm awake. In fact, I wanna do some work. I wanna do some work on my computer and a little TV table like this. We used to call them like TV dinner trays. And that's because you would sit in front of your TV on your couch eating dinner, are really, really useful. You don't have to eat on them. I use them for a laptop so I can watch TV and still be productive. But they have gotten really nice lately. And some of them are a little too nice. They're made out of bamboo, other woods. They can be like 70, 80, 90, 100 bucks. And this one seemed to be made out of wood. So it looked like a quality piece. Seemed to be pretty simple too. Hopefully it is pretty simple to set up. But it wasn't that expensive. In fact, it was one of the cheapest ones I could find. So, without going to like the really, really cheap plastic ones. So, let's get this thing set up and see if it's worth it. So, unboxing this Humfa bedside sofa desk. This is what it's supposed to look like and hopefully, nice flat top off of there. Should be nice for working on the computer and I love these L-shaped legs so they can kind of go under the couch yet still give you nice support. So, I've gone ahead and cut open the box here. Oh yeah, look at that. Just gorgeous. Well, there it is. So, here's the link to buy it. Just kidding. I can't even see anything. We've got lots of bubble wrap here. We also have some instructions. Hopefully that's not gonna be too hard to assemble. Looks like we got a little box of hardware there. Here is the wood and what you can see here is actually looks pretty nice. It's got actually a decent weight to it, but uh, as you can see, I can see the grain there. And the color, I would kind of call it a dark cherry mocha, something like that maybe. It's got a little brown. It may look black on camera, but it's not. It just looks actually pretty nice. So I'm gonna get the rest of the parts out and get this thing set up. All right, so I got this thing unboxed. It's actually not gonna be that hard to put together, I don't think. You can see here that we just have one big top piece. We have one of these C leg sides, and we have the other one right there, and then this cross member piece, which is this piece right here, and then the box of hardware. All right, now one thing I will say is I'm dumping out the pieces here, or the hardware, is that it looks like we have kind of hex heads on both the screws and the bolts, and it does come with this Allen key. So I think the only tool that you're gonna need is that tool right there, which is actually pretty nice. I was thinking that you might need screwdrivers, power tools, things like that, but I don't think you're gonna need that. And then installation is just one sheet here. So let's get the top laid down and then get the legs on, and I will show you how to do it. All right, let's get assembling this thing. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put the top down. I actually don't think there's a front or back, so it doesn't really matter. But what does matter is the sides here. What you can see is that the hole has a little bit of a wider opening on that side than this side. It countersinks into there. You can actually see it up here where it holds that cross member. This side is wider, that side is much thinner. So the thinner side is going to go to the inside and the two holes here that hold that cross member are going to be quite a bit lower on the table. So you wanna make sure that that is up there and these two holes will line up with those two holes. Now, the next thing you're gonna need from the hardware kit are these bolts. So not the ones that look like screws, that's gonna be a little later, but you're gonna use these bolts and this Allen key to tighten the sides in here. So I'm gonna do that now. What I will say here is that I've kind of noticed you can start these little bolts by hand before you get to the tool because then you're going to be kind of stuck doing half turns on them. So can I tighten these in as much as you can by hand first and then grab your Allen key and then start tightening it down half turn at a time. And then you're gonna install the other side to be the mirror of the one that you already installed. All right, now the last thing we're gonna do is put in this cross member piece here and it doesn't look like there's an up or down. It's just going to kind of slot right between these legs here. And then you're gonna use these wood screws to hold it in just like that. So let's get that in. And here is the finished product. It looks good. I like the fact that there isn't a lot of sheen on the paint work here. This bamboo material seems light yet very strong. And you know, it's probably gonna be a little easier to see the color. I think they call this cherry, I think. So just a little bit darker, I don't know, espresso, I guess is probably how I would say it is. And looks good, that's for sure. Now, one thing I do wanna show you here on the bottom is that there's no 
little rubber feet or silicone feet or anything like that. So it's just this wood. So if that is a concern to you, you might want to pick up some of those little feet that go on the bottom there. But otherwise, this is what it looks like. And now if I just slide over here and sit down on this couch and pull this thing up to me. Oh, yeah. Look how far this goes back right? So what I love is that those legs go underneath the couch so that it will come right up to your legs like this. And now, you know, I am leaning back, but if I were sitting up straight, man, I could pull this right up to me, right up to my belly, put my food here, nom, 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 or put my laptop here, clickety, clack, clickety, clickety, clack, 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 and be productive while I'm watching TV or looking out my window, creeping on people or whatever you have. So I really love these things. It's nice and sturdy. And this one was Hold on to your hats. It was $29, which is as cheap as I've ever seen these. It's a nice looking table. It's simple. It's simplistic. It's easy to put together. It seems durable. And I think we'll do the job. So if you want a sofa couch table so that you can stay productive, or just stay engrossed in your movie while you're eating. I will put a link to this little bad boy in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. We can discover more and explore so much deeper.